It'll be Caitlin Young and Keani Westbrook. And Westbrook wins the tip. Gia Adams and company will start with the basketball. Uh, rare for Coach Ty Evans, but again, they're allowing, they're making Murray State work for every shot. Three ball is good. Nothing but net that time for Macy Turley. 3-3, three, three, 90 seconds in. Murray State comes in with a record of 16-7, and seven, and boy, can Macy Turley shoot the three ball into this first quarter. But Macy Turley, she was thinking about a third one there. Instead, going to settle for the jumper, and that is good. And right now, Tennessee State has no answer for number five. Back to McKay, and that one missed front iron, but an offensive rebound for Alexis Burpo. Turley wants three, she's got three. Macy Turley, oh my goodness. It's Tatiana Davis, hand down, man down, silky smooth. Great find, good passing that time from Murray State. Now McKay, a little handoff. Tend to shoot for the Racers. Burpo cut so perfectly. How about that connection between her and McKay? She was attempting to go one on four, but the trailer didn't trail back in enough time, forcing her to take that jumper. Beautiful cut by McKay and the find from Lex Mays. And to the numbers, and Murray State did not turn the ball over in the first quarter. Lex Mays for three, that is good. Five for Lex Mays. Alexis Burpo, who dealt with COVID last year and never felt the same, finds Caitlin Young. And Young, it doesn't matter if she's working on two, three, four, five defenders, she muscles her way in for two. Finds. The basket for two, an easy lay-in makes it 30 to 20, but no one picks up Lex Mays, and when she's wide open, she's almost automatic. And it's 37-28. Murray State, on the, on the contrary, struggling here in the second quarter, only three, well now, four of 12 from the field. And the Red Sea departed, points on the board for TSU. Murray State moving the ball so effectively. Hannah McKay, after the dime, from Lex Mays. You stated they don't do it often, but when they do, they do it well. Mays finding Caitlin Young, who had position on Westbrook. 50 to 32, and now a turnover. The fourth one of the night for Tennessee State. Turley with the find, there's McKay. McKay had Burpo and didn't need Alexis Burpo on the backside. Rhythm, four points on two possessions. You gotta stop Murray State on the offensive end right here. What a dime for Turley. She finds McKay as those two hook up for two more. Sanaya Parker after the handoff from Harden. She couldn't touch rim on that shot. And then Turley pushes right away. Hannah McKay cut into the basket. Scoring. That's about all I gotta say about that. And that's what you need this late in the season. Senior led group, and speaking of seniors, Alexis Burpo, two more for her. I put her in a position to where she can be pretty much wide open on the floor, and screens will do that. Caitlin Young, that is two more for the Beast. And Caitlin Young, she's got 14. I mean, this battle between Elise Harden and Caitlin Young in the post is something to watch. But also, so is Hannah McKay. 66-51, 6.30 to go here in the fourth quarter. 10 to shoot. They just keep throwing it in to Caitlin Young. Okay, we'll put Murray State in that bonus. And they will shoot free throws the rest of the fourth quarter. Good slip by McKay yet again. What a find from Young at the top of the elbow. Since that regular season championship team in 08-09, this will be the first 17-win season as there's two points for Isabel West. So a lot of different players getting into the mix. One of the best wins of the season for Murray State. On paper, this one was supposed to be pretty close. Instead, Murray State blitzes TSU from start to finish.